so we got Sebastian off to school. Rash is still really bad, probably worse than yesterday, but they say it gets worse before it gets better. He's actually wearing short sleeves because he decided his arms weren't too noticeable because they're so bad that it just looks like a sunburn. It's spread to the point where it's just pink. Poor guy. But yeah, we did his normal allergy medicine and I'm gonna take the bedtime of watching the dog. This morning with his antibiotic, I sent him off with a long note detailing anything I could think of related to his health right now. Also reminded him that he can tell his teacher if he doesn't think he doesn't want to make it through the day because he's just too tired and not feeling well. He's hacking up long cookies today. I gave him a popsicle with his piece of bacon. He has a little mini breakfast here and then gets back to the school. But I had Danny get juice pops, the type that are just 100% juice. So he can have them even in the morning because the coldness tends to use his coughing because they're just really gagging coughs and nobody wants to do them. So I did that. It was a whirlwind getting ready. I have to normally pack this snack in his lunch and I did that. I have to make it breakfast. He had bacon he did that many. He ate one, but that's fine. He's gonna get some breakfast at school. I wrote that note, which took some extra time, and then I had to give him two different mes medicines. It's very slow doing the antibiotic. Oh, I've got this dripping napkin here. He has to take it a half mil at a time. That's the only way can get it down. It's very thick gags on it. And just getting him moving and a little slow waking up. He's so groggy. But yeah, he's out the door. I packed up extra onions and pants just because I'm a little nervous that he won't go pee as much as he needs to and he's been needing to pee a lot. Also in case like nerves kick up the diarrhea or something. Uh, I hope he does well. It's been a, extremely difficult. I don't know, it's been like 40 days since he's been sick. I'm grateful to have us well, knock on wood, to take care of him at this stage. Come on, man. I was supposed to wake Jack's up when I got back in from the bus stop, but he was already awake. His watch was charging overnight, so he couldn't use that as his alarm. But yeah, he woke up just due to routine. But he should be getting dressed and coming down to make his lunch and breakfast. So I'm gonna do my Korean and keep on with my day. At least it's not gonna rain. First time in a long time, and it's gonna be over 70. So I can put on sandals. Right now I have slippers on because it was under 50 degrees, a little chilly, but yeah, let's hope for a good day.
just get home from school? Yeah. With the with the gift from Carol? Yeah. How are you feeling, buddy? What's your bash? <laughs> Looks like it might be a little better. We should take up your hoodie and check. We gotta get Okay. Still splotchy. It'll go away soon. The neck looked a little better. Whoa, a pullback. Oh, that's cool. And it's school bus. And you got a Halloween shirt. Let me pull that tape off. It says Happy Halloween. Nice. And you got a book. The House on Haunted Hill. Can you say thank you, Carol? Thank you, Carol. Sebastian in the bath. He is so itchy. His allergy medicine from this morning has worn off and the rash is brutal. Brutal. So bad in spots where he's just solid red and it's, it's like hot to the touch and really itchy for him. I guess the medicine was working well during the day. His hair tech. He didn't mention that it was bothering him during the day and and he wasn't bothered by it until during dinner, he was starting to scratch. So we stopped after dinner and I got oatmeal bath and oatmeal lotion. So he's soaking in the oatmeal bath right now. Anyway, hello. Not sure when I talked to you, but yeah, we got him off to school. He did well. He says he only had to go to the bathroom once, so that's alarming. And I was like, did you drink? They give him like four ounces of juice with his breakfast there. And then he has like a 12 ounce water bottle. And I packed a six ounce juice for snack time. And then a six ounce juice for lunch. I don't usually give him this much juice, but like whatever to keep him hydrated right now. And he only had to pee once. He did have diarrhea when he got home, but again, it's still half and half, and I think it's just gonna be like that till we finish. We have three more doses of antibiotic left. Two tomorrow, and then one on Saturday. But yeah, so he made it through. I didn't hear anything from his teacher, so I don't know if he's out of it. But he made it. I tried to stick to town instead of pulling out to the craft store the next town over to get poster board. He is a star of the week next week and he has to bring in a poster about himself so we're going to be working on that this weekend and I'm trying to do the prep work. I got a list of things he likes, his food and his activities. So I'm going to print it all out and we're going to glue it together and decorate it this weekend. I got my errand was to go to the library, return books, grab a few, and I went to the grocery store because I just wanted to go post and I thought that I'd seen poster board there and I did. So I had got a pack of poster board in color so he can choose which one he wants. I'm just gonna make sure he wasn't calling for me. How you doing? You doing good? Thanks. And then I went 
in the Shane Shopping Center to the new coffee shop. That's where my Starbucks used to be. And I got a tart and an Americano and sat in that, and that. You know, the past tense of knitting is not matted. <laughs> I knit. I'm working on a second Splatoon hat for that because the pattern I bought, the person is designed two different types. So I'm changing it up this time instead of going straight by the pattern. So I knitted for a while and then bought some tricks to bring home for the boys and headed home. And I got Sebastian from the bus stop. Just watched him. I gave him lots of time. Not just the 10 minutes that his counselor talked to him about before doing homework. Just kind of let him go until we got to the point where he's like, I want to go out to a park. I'm like, wait, we can if we do our homework, but you're running out of time. We got the homework done, and then right then, Dana came up and said, let's to dinner and stuff, and he was not happy. I ended up letting him grab, stick his hand into our box of mystery bionicles, and he pulled out this torso, so. I was happy about that. Made up for it. I just feel so bad. He's so miserable. He has a hacking cough. His nose is completely jammed up and congested. He's exhausted and he's covered head to toe in this itchy rash. It used to not be on his butt cheeks, but getting in the tub, it's definitely on there. And I'm just going to not tell him because he thinks it's not there and he's happy about it. Uh. It's definitely gotten so much worse today, but they say that it gets worse before it gets better. Anyway, we walked to the burger shop. Jack doesn't love it, but I was like, I messaged Dan and I was like, you know, if you tell him we can get a milkshake, he'll probably be more about it. But Jack's has been enjoying time with a friend who lives nearby. They hung out a little bit at the playground after I got home from school and he was just chatting with me on our walk to dinner saying how his friend found a baseball bat and smushed a bug for him. It was just like in passing. But on the walk home, I bring up Facebook because there was a notification from the neighborhood group and so I was like, oh, my son left his baseball bat at the park yesterday but now it's not there. Has anybody seen it? And I'm like, baseball bat? Mm -hmm. So I sent Jax off to his friend's house on our way home. I was like, did she go home with the bat? And he fit and thought she did. So they delivered the bat. I messaged, I wrote back. I was like, I think my son can go to his friend's and bring the baseball bat back to the park. And so she drove over and got the bat and everybody was happy. And then I let him stay a little extra time. I've been informed that his friend's dad wants to my cell phone. So, yeah, I need to write that down for Jax. Because neither of them have phones. He does have a phone number on his watch. But, yeah. Let's get updated, I guess. I decided to talk to you before I put on pajamas because I feel like I'm wearing pajamas. I was just wearing a double sweaters. I did get to wear a sandbox, but. It's been so bad from stress and the cold weather we had. Okay. The cracked spot right where my sandals were going, and it was a little painful, but I got through it. I love their sandals whenever I can, and I think I can tomorrow. Anyway, I'm gonna go continue on bedtime stuff. So far, I've gotten like, given Sebastian his Benadryl and his Amoxicillin. Now I need to get his. Oh, and his probiotic. There's one other probiotic. I do a powder of the most effective one. And then I have gummies of another kind that I had gotten before I was able to get the powder. And since it's a different strain, I give him one of those just to round it out. So I'm gonna give him that, give him his vitamins. We're all doing extra vitamins. <laughs> Zinc and elderberry and stuff vitamin C because the multivitamins are a little low on those so yeah we're rounding it out lots of vitamins for everybody <laughs> myself included I much medicine for Jack what else do I have to do I said Jack's but it's kind of like Jack then change 
this one's better than me. I'm not sure what else. I think after that I can just sit and drink my coffee. It's probably getting cold in the dresser in there and do some knitting clothes for me to him out. Creamed, lotioned up, and then we'll be done. Yeah, that's my update. I will I'll watch you guys out. And hopefully soon we can start getting back to life. It's gonna be a weekend and hopefully we won't all be house ready. So good night, stay safe, be kind, and don't forget to